within this assumption of consciousness, within this illusion, this projection of consciousness, then arises all the forms and all the individual experiences that we have at any given moment. If you extrapolate this, if you zoom out as far as you can, so to speak, you can start to understand that all universes, all experiences, all parallel realities, they all coexist simultaneously in the eternal now, which is, you could say, the field of awareness. That non-dual awareness, even before you feel that you are as an individual. Can everyone go to the sense of I am, I am here? Right? There is a sense of I am here. I am here in this room, so to speak. Can you, can you get that sense? Even if you've already transcended it, can you just re-conjure it up? The sense I am here in this room. I'm present. You are here. Feel that. Now take away the here part. Take away location. Maybe close your eyes if it's easier. Get rid of I am here. Simply stay with I am. Now very likely, it is still your individual sense of I am. But for some, it may have already gone into the universal I, the I, I. So take away the I am and recognize what remains. Before I am, something is, something vaster, subtler, something with less form, less qualities. A formless, mysterious existence is before you feel like you are. Get intuitively in touch with that I, I, that vast, all-pervasive I is, that is God. It is the light of the one infinite creator. And it carries the quality known as Satchitananda, or existence, awareness, and bliss, or joy, or light. So the universal I, which are the three main ingredients, so to speak, out of which everything else arises, out of which every experience, every other illusion is made out of, the fundamental substratum essence of all that is, is existence, awareness, bliss, or I, I, or God. Those are the first three distortions of the law of one or the one, the first three expressions of the one infinite creator as one is Satchitananda. In Ra's terminology, that would be free will being the first creation or awareness, you could say. The second being love, formless, all pervasive, unconditional, love, love with no opposites, love with no subject and no object, just the pure potential of infinite love. And out of this non-dual field of infinite love, combined with the intelligence of free will or awareness, which has as its only duty to express and create the one infinite creator inside of the illusion of experiences, through the magic of this intelligence of free will, the operating agent of the one, the active principle of the one, the dynamic principle of the one, the intelligent working principle of the one. When this is working, its intelligence, its agency, its awareness, onto this field of infinite potential union or love, then arises vibration or patterns or light. Thus then experience is born as we know it. Now we can see, we can feel, we can sense, the senses are produced, individuations are produced, all out of the field of love upon which the magic, the mystery, the infinite intelligence of free agency has worked its magic. And out of that is produced light. Then out of light is produced every other individual experience you could ever think of. 
So everything that has seeming isness, everything that has seeming existence, has as its only substance awareness, love, light. None of these are the one infinite creator in its original state. They are still all expressions. All this is an expression of the one infinite original absolute, the only true creator, the only, the only, for there is only one, and it is infinite. It's infinitely one. It's the one infinite. 